The Credit Show podcast with Harry Jacobs starts now. I want to talk about something called the Adverse Action Letter. Doesn't sound fun, doesn't sound exciting, but when you're denied something as a result of your credit under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, you are entitled, and and the, the person that was trying to extend credit to you that ended up denying it is required to send you an Adverse Action Letter. You were obviously adversely affected by the decision, which was based on information obtained in your credit report or in some sort of a database, like a rental database. Right? That's how that works, or a background check for work. So a couple of different things here that are important to know. When you apply for an apartment or a rental of any sort, they look at your rental and payment history. Now that can appear in two different places. Sometimes it's part of your credit report. And other times, it's in one of the rental databases, which don't show up on the credit report, but they're similar to the credit reporting agencies. They're actually considered a credit reporting agency. So if you're denied an apartment, they must, by law, send you one of these letters. And that information in that letter will tell you why you were denied, But more importantly, it will give you the name of the database where your name appeared. And if, by the way, if by by chance that information was wrong and you don't have an eviction or you didn't end up owing the apartment complex money, you can begin that dispute process the same way you would with the credit bureaus. And that's something obviously we can help you with as well. If you don't get one of these letters after being declined, it's a violation of the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And you can sue the company that denied you. And the apartment complex happens more than you would think. And and obviously, you're probably asking yourself how you would afford an attorney or could if you're apartment shopping or if you're in a a bind. Well, the same thing applies applies to, you know, these issues with, debt collection problems that people have. When debt collectors break the law, you don't need an attorney. As long as we confirm that they break the law, we can get you an attorney at no cost. There's a fee-shifting provision as well under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. So when you've got a violation like this, the person that that violated your rights, the person that denied you credit, the extension of credit, that failed to provide you with a letter and and give you the reason that you were declined, that didn't give you the credit bureau or the database that you were in, they are required to pay your legal fees. That's a simple process to help you figure that out. And by the way, you know, making sure that you don't have any out-of-pocket costs for this is job number one for us. We'll make sure that happens. Same thing, by the way, applies for a job. If you get a job application and you were denied based on something that showed up in your credit report or background check, it's a requirement under the Fair Credit Reporting Act that you're notified by the potential employer that you get one of these adverse action letters. These letters apply if you apply for a car or a home or a credit card, any product where a credit report is reviewed and you are declined You are entitled to one of these, by law, an adverse action letter. And if you've had this experience and you haven't gotten an adverse action letter, then I want to hear from you. And I want to help you at no cost. Simple as that. Free. You've been listening to The Credit Show podcast with Harry Jacobs. If you need assistance with your credit, text credit to 702-778-2000.